Hello and welcome. I'm Ben Brownlee for Boris Effect. Sapphire 2021 added a few new presets to its Builder effect. In this short tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Builder and the Instant Motion Background preset. To make use of our Instant Motion Background, the first thing we're going to do is apply the Sapphire Builder as an effect. And in Premiere, we're, I'm just going to apply this to a, a black solid, and we can do the same sort of thing in other applications as well. So if I just come over to my effects, you'll find the Sapphire Builder under S Effect. And I'm just going to apply this here. Now, when we first add S Effect to a clip, it doesn't do anything. And that's because S Effect is a way of building up your own effects. If we go to Load Presets and I come into Builder Effects, we have a whole variety of different presets that are some of the regular Sapphire effects that can create all of these different sorts of looks. Now, if I just type into my search Insta, I have my instant motion background available right here. So I'm going to load this in and it will have a little bit of a think and I can just play that back immediately. There we go. So at the moment, it's just sort of uh, sitting there, glittering around. If we look over at the effect controls, we have the basic controls we need to make any changes that we want to. So if we want to animate this in, I'm going to come into my infinite zoom and I'm going to animate in the zoom and the twist. And I'll come down here and we'll increase the twist up a little bit. And I'll just drag the zoom up a bit as well. If you're working in After Effects, this is a nice thing to, um, to be able to drive just with expressions. So you can just use uh, expressions just to, to time this through. Lovely, and we can make any changes we want to it at this point now. Adjusting these controls is fairly straightforward and, and you know, well, actually not fairly straightforward, very straightforward and very simple. And we can get, you know, a variety of different effects here. But what's most interesting about the instant background effect is the fact that we don't have to keep this kind of default uh, looking background we have here. I'm going to come into edit effect. And this is going to load up the effect builder. And this shows us the nuts and bolts of what's going on behind the scenes to create this effect up. And there are a couple of little notes to remind you what things are doing. At the moment, we have sparkles in the middle here. And that's what gives us our effect around here, our sparkles. But I can change this out for something else. If I come in, uh, maybe I'll, I'll use one of the, another filter here. Maybe I'll use an ultra zap. Let's just bring that in. And all I have to do to change our background out is pipe my black background into ultra zap and then pipe ultra zap into the foreground there. So I can get rid of this. And I'll have this as the effect that is generating up the main look here. And I can make changes that I want to in here as well. Uh, if I come into secondary bolt structure, I'll add a, another bolt in here. Maybe not 14 of them. Maybe I'll just add another one. And I'll keep the length, I'll take the length down a little bit to maybe about 0.1. There we go. I keep all the uh, the colors, the default values, just to show you what we're doing and not creating art here. So we can take a little look at what this is going to do without any sort of uh, of infinite zoom animation. Remember our little note here, keyframe infinite zoom. Now, the nice thing about this is that all the stuff that I'm changing in the, the builder itself, when I hit OK, that's going to take that into my host application. And I know I'm going to want to make changes to my Ultra Zap as well later when we, we see this in motion. So I'm going to come into Ultra Zap and I'm going to choose which of these parameters I want to see in the host. So I'm going to turn off everything to begin with. And then I'm just going to turn on the ones that I'm most interested in. So like the start points, my control, basically my control points. I'm going to put that in there. Uh, I will change up my length and my colors 
So let's hit OK on that and see what we get. So we can see that it's changed. I'll just do a quick uh, uh, render of this and we'll see what we end up with and see how we need to change it. And that gives us a fun little effect. And because of the selections we made in Builder itself, I can still come in here and change up all of these areas here. So anytime where I have an on-screen widget in the effect, I also have those on-screen widgets in, uh, in Builder as well. So I can just come in with my little control points for the lightning, change up how that lightning looks and change up my colors here so we can see that that also makes a big difference. There we go, very different look here. But obviously the instant motion background can be used not just to, to pipe in other effects, it can be used on footage as well. So if I've got, let's take something relatively random here. Uh, I've got some glittery things. I'm gonna take this one there and I'll just paste that down there. And let's come in to my effect and I'll add the same thing over. I'll show you how to do this from scratch. So again, we just load that preset in from SFX, go to Builder Presets, type in Instant, Instant Motion Background, load that in. It's gonna come in with the default settings, edit that effect, and then it will open up the Effect Builder. And all we have to do here is then take our source, which is our source clip, pipe that into the circle instead so that we don't get so we don't use our sparkles. I'm gonna hit OK. I'm not gonna to touch anything else on that. So we always need to keyframe. We don't always, but it's it's much more fun if we keyframe up the zoom and the twist, especially the zoom. Let's set that to 30 maybe, maybe even a bit more. And we'll just render that and see what we get. Yeah, and there's definitely something there that we can start to uh, to work on. You know, maybe if we take something a bit slower, and I'm just going to copy that effect onto just some very slow moving dust. And there we go out of just some uh, some boring old dust we've we've got something that looks we're well, starting to look a little bit more kind of spacey and trippy kind of space age so with just this one effect we can start to create some very different looking motion backgrounds that are based off the same sorts of building blocks and if you're not using sapphire's effect builder currently this is a great excuse to start to get into it if you found this interesting and you would like to know more about Sapphire's Builder or any of the Sapphire filters, then head on over to borisfx.com, where you'll find all the latest news and product information about all of the Boris FX range. You'll also find a host of video tutorials, and you're able to download a free trial for every single Boris FX product.